Mumtaz Begum Hussain is a published craft writer from London. She makes her own clothes and doesn't believe in following the rules. I'm not a perfectionist. So if I'm sewing something, if I'm knitting something and I drop a stitch, I don't go back and pick up the drop stitch, I just make it part of the design. Mumtaz wants to challenge the traditions of the craft and infuse it with her own idiosyncratic style. The structure of the pattern's been a bit more difficult. Here, you're doing, what, three, four things at once? So it is requiring a different skill. If you gave me an empty loom, yes, I've got on the sheet um, what to do on the loom when you get there, but actually I still have to set up the loom. So in a way I'm missing that really vital bit of knowledge. Yes, I can do weaving, um, but I can't do weaving. I would say I can't tell you one technical thing I've grasped because I didn't really grasp how we set up this loom. Right. When I'm faced with anything technical, mm. It's just completely alien to me. And I'm trying, I am trying really hard. I mean, it does, it does I beg can't grasp it. the question, one, is that you've chosen about the most technical thing yes. you could possibly do. So what was that all about? I was more interested in the results. Right. I knew there'd be a technical side, but yeah. I wasn't going to let that worry me. But mm. I, honestly, at this stage, I'm thinking, will I ever be able to understand that? I think that what you're doing, um, shows amazing application. We come from an age in a society that wants, everything wants to happen now and intuitively and yeah, you just do it and it flows and it's exciting and it's fun. We don't really value or, or, or learn as children actually hard, slow, complicated, difficult things. <laughs> Something else to take away from Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lack of self-confidence. Speaking to Monty made me feel so much happier about what I'm doing and what I've done so far. I just have to do things at my pace. And if I'm slower than other people, if it takes me longer to learn things, it just doesn't matter. Momtaz's fabric is also coming along, but the two loose threads that she didn't think would be a problem have come back to haunt her. Now there is this irregularity, but it goes through the whole thing. That's, yeah, but it is a fault. <laughs> the thing was I did it consciously because I spent um, two and a half hours trying to fix the fault and I couldn't fix it. And to me, I felt... Anyone who knows anything about weave will know that that's a fault. It does detract. Yeah. So I don't know if you can get away with making that a feature. Um, I think we might have to try and work around it. I, I did it very consciously, knowing that I couldn't sort... I, I tried and tried. I mean, you could make the products like this, but it just seems a shame when you've put so much energy into to the fabric and you have got some beautiful bits of fabric here. Trying to get it right every time is the key to mastering any craft. But Momtaz is finding this a hard and restrictive path to tread. I actually am fed up of weaving. I work with how things go and mm. I'm not after perfection. It's handmade. I made a mistake, it's got a mistake in. Mm. Just because the craft market needs it to be really perfect and because the first thing to say was the weaver's going to know it's a mistake, I'm not selling to other weavers, I'm selling to other people who will appreciate the product. So I fixed it, I didn't want to fix it, and it still looks rubbish, so I'm still going to have to hide it anyway, and it just feels like I'm suddenly doing things that I don't actually want to do. It has taken Momtas two whole days just to untangle her warp, and another three to set up her loom, so she is very behind. My life is too precious to me to be doing this at the end of the day. It's the final day before the judges are due to arrive. Against all her instincts, Momtaz has bravely stuck with it. I think in terms of my future and my pride, I need to actually just do this. I, mean, I definitely didn't come here to give up. But I would say it's not always the people that start the fastest that get there in the end. So, time to reveal the result. <laughs> we judges have spent a long time deliberating, and I just think I should say on record, they thought that all three were really good, but it was decided that the winner is Treff. Oh my God! Thank <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, everybody. Very good. But actually, the most interesting thing comes from Mumtaz, I think, when she said that there is such a difference between amateur and professional, and professional weaving 
has such a high standard. And I know for myself, I'll never look at any fabric in the same way again.